Canucks goalie Roberto Luongo was the subject of many trade rumors last season. Turns out it's his teammate or former teammate, Corey Schneider, who will be packing his bag. Schneider's heading to the New Jersey Devils for the ninth overall pick, which was used on Bo Horvath. I'm Kerry Chow, joined by ESPN.com NHL reporter Scott Burnside. Scott, how big a surprise is this move? Well, certainly it was only within the last 24 hours or so that the Vancouver Canucks made clear that they were, in fact, shopping Corey Schneider. As you point out, it's been a year since uh, essentially the starting role in Vancouver had been handed to Corey Schneider. Uh, very clear that Roberto Luongo wanted a change of scenery. Uh, the Canucks doing their best to move Roberto Luongo for almost a year. Uh, clearly, Mike Gillis, the GM, uh, underestimated the trade market for Luongo. His long term, his huge salary cap number, could not move him. And in the end, decided to move a much more marketable asset in Corey Schneider. And although there was a lot of interest, a number of Western Conference teams, Columbus, Edmonton, Calgary, poking around, perhaps even offering more than the Devils did, uh, the Canucks wanted no part of trading Schneider, uh, who many believe will be a top-end number one goalie in the NHL within the uh, Western uh, Conferences, within the Western Conference, the new two divisions that will start next season, and sent him instead to the New Jersey Devils for the ninth pick. Now, of course, Marty Brodeur, a uh, fixture here, headed to the Hall of Fame as soon as his eligibility uh, allows after he retires. has one more year in his deal here, so it will be interesting to see how Pete DeBoer, the head coach, uh, hand handles his two essentially number one goalies. But you have to like what the Devils have done in terms of um, preparing for the day when Marty Brodeur is no longer the number one goalie in New Jersey. Uh, Corey Schneider looks like he'll fill into that role for many years to come. Yeah, you mentioned the relationship between Luongo and the Vancouver Canucks. What does this mean now for Luongo? Is the relationship too toxic, or is Luongo now the man? Well, you know, I mean, he's still under contract. Uh, he is now going to be the number one man again in Vancouver. Um, one assumes that there have been some hurt feelings. Uh, you know, Roberto Luongo spent the better part of a year now uh, preparing for a new start, preparing to move to a new team somewhere. It's been long rumored he would have preferred to go to Florida. Family ties there. Um, a deal could not be worked out. Certainly the Canucks are asking for far too much to begin with. And then uh, when they were, were reduced their demands, the interest wasn't there. So, um, you know, do, do those smooth, those hurt feelings get smoothed over? I mean, that's a real task now for my deal with the GM and new head coach John Tortorella. They have to uh, you know, they have to re-embrace Roberto Luongo, and they have to uh, make him believe that he is, in fact, the guy that the Canucks believe could lead them deep into the playoffs once again, as he did in 2011 when they went to the Stanley Cup final. So, you know, I mean, no one's going to feel sorry for Roberto Luongo. <laughs> you know, he's got a contract, he's going to make a lot of money. Uh, that hasn't changed. But certainly, there are, there are some bridges to be repaired in Vancouver, and it will be interesting to see how the Canucks go about doing that. Great stuff as always. That's ESPN.com NHL reporter Scott Burnside. For an in-depth breakdown of the complete first round of the NHL draft, be sure to check out the ESPN.com NHL page. I'm Kerry Chow with your latest ESPN headline.